Welcome back to the spot for another video. Mix up the set a bit so, you know, it's not the same as, as always. I like to keep things fresh and the key to keeping things fresh is to um, freshen them up every now and then. There we go, hope you enjoy the new uh, backdrop. The other day I asked on Instagram, I said, ask me science related questions that you would normally Google. And this is what you asked me. So I'm gonna go through these science related questions that you should have Googled and answer them to the best of my capability. I got quite a few responses. This isn't a flex, but the list is rather long. All right, here we go. Right off the gate, a question that is well and truly up my alley. How many moles it is 39 grams of NACI? Well, to start with, for those wondering, moles is uh, molecules. That's what we use as lingo in the industry. 73, so 73 times 39 plus two times 39. So the answer is 2,925 molecules in 39 grams of nitride chloroxide. Moving on, what kind of energy does an unlit match have? Uh, that's actually pretty obvious, there's no energy. Uh, I mean, you've answered the question in the question. 1 plus the 7, 2 times quantum physics divided by um, 1459. Carry the 1 over to the 24, divide that by that, and then crunch that, enter that in, you get Santac's error. Yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, this is going to test me. This is a new topic for me, uh, rotational inertia. Um, and I've been asked to demonstrate the formula. So the first step to, to realizing the formula for rational rotational inertia is you have the point of turn, otherwise known as the pivot point, or we call it the PL. The L is silent. There's our rotational point. The inertia is over here. And we symbolize that as I, E, A. The E and the A are um, silent. Now that is going to be rotating around this. So all you need to do to get the formula is P, sorry, that's a B, P times I, this table's a bit squeaky, divided by two. So you get that times that divided by two equals, oh, that's, you don't need to equal it. That's the formula. That's it done. Cool. Why is it force measured in Newtons and not old tons? Because that Newton invented force in 1800s. Because back then it was new. It, in 1800s it was new, so they called it Newtons. Now I think, yeah, you're right, we should go for a rename on that and call them old tons because it is old. A reference to last week's video, can you get electrocuted from electrolytes? And I actually hands-on tested this, and no, you can't. I consumed a lot of electrolytes, and I didn't get electrocuted. I didn't feel any sort of static shock, none of the sort. How do you calculate horizontal force? I'm glad you asked. I'm not going to write off, what was that called? Rotational inertia force, because it's quite simple. There's only one difference, is the point of rotation no longer becomes a point of rotation, and it is now a point of stillness. So to calculate um, the horizontal force, which is the force going this way and this way, the horizontal force going this way always cancels out the horizontal force going this way. So if this is eight and this is eight, eight plus eight equals 16, um, sorry, eight minus eight equals zero, so that's always zero. So it's almost, there's, there's no real reason for a formula because you can basically guarantee your answer is always gonna be zero. What does a neurotransmitter do? Transmit neuros, so it's quite self-explanatory actually. Is the Milky Way a galaxy? Those are obviously two very separate confectionery items. I don't even think they're made by the same brand, um, so no. How many bones are there in a human ear? There's none. The human ear is just made up of cartridges. Cartridge. Why does time exist? Already answered that in the last Google video. Go watch that. Quinoric and oxybutyn effects on digestion. Basically, the quinoric and the oxybutyn effects cause digestion to either stop or go. So you have the quinoric and the oxybutyn, it will go. You remove one of the two, it will stop. You remove them both, it'll go again. What is the sun made of? I'm pretty sure I learned that in about year two. It's made of lava, so silly question. 
What is apoptosis and its purpose? Apop, similar to K-pop, and apoptosis is sort of the hypnotism method that K-pop artists use to entice their fans, but they couldn't call it K-pop-totus because that's too obvious, people would be onto them. So they called it apoptosis because it's a bit more of a discreet name and they can get away with it. Okay, I'm sorry, there's a real lot of questions here and I, I can't quite possibly go through them all, so I'm gonna have to end it there. And if you have any other topics, maybe I need to do a bit more of a refined topic next time to get a few less answers. But if you have any topic ideas for questions you should have Googled that I'm going to answer, uh, put it in a comment below and maybe I'll do one of these again in the future. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks to all the new people that are watching the videos. And stay true to the streets. That's it. Bon voyage.